Making cyber security addicting. Ooh. That's it. You can stop watching right now. I spend way too much time scrolling. Everywhere I look, I see insane hackers landing big bug bounties, breaking into legally secure systems. You know what's crazy? I'm not too much in the hacking side, but I found a I found the bounty that was on for sale pretty early before it came out. I was working on an app and I kept routing into my pages and my sign-ins without even needing to log in. I, I honestly, I didn't even know that was a way to make money. If I did, then that was pretty cool of me to find out. To the programmers, just keep programming and the bugs that you do find, it's probably nine times out of ten a hacking, you know, bounty. So like be a polygot developer, not just a regular full stack. Getting hired by top cybersecurity firms. Meanwhile, I just stare at my terminal, struggling to even start a simple recon scan. Even opening Burp Suite or setting up a lab feels like mission impossible. I have this toxic relationship with hacking. I want to be great. I want to be the best. But wanting something and actually putting in the work? Two completely different things. My ambition is massive, but my work ethic, not so much. Then I came across this idea. I know you've heard it all before. Build a habit, be consistent, grind every day. But here's the thing, we're human. And humans, like any other animal, thrive on positive reinforcement. We can try to... And humans, be Body consistent, grind like every day. Body is built like a Mexican, but bro. Here's the thing, we're you know them Spanish people that got like... Boy, I, honestly, I ain't gonna say Spanish. You know them people that be built like straight down the middle? Fool, but not even fat. You only even got a big. And humans, like any other animal, thrive on positive reinforcement. We can try to push through, but at some point we need small wins to keep us going. So I started something simple, defining my wins. Every time I sit down to hack, I set a tiny goal. If I only have 30 minutes, my win could be scanning a target for open ports, finding just one misconfiguration, or exploiting a basic vulnerability in a lab. As soon as I hit that goal, I get a small dopamine rush. And suddenly, I want to keep going. One win turns into two, then three, stacking forever. This does two things. It makes hacking more engaging, and it gives me real progress. Because let's be honest, social media gives you cheap wins. Every scroll, every like. Honestly, I don't think he's describing it right, like for me. And I'm going to say I'm polygot as a developer. So I go on both sides, security and just developer side overall. Uh, what helped me was focusing on projects that I want to build, you know. And like the only reason I could say it's fun is because I engulf myself in the whole like process. Like I want to know everything, a part of it, the front end, the back end, the IT, the amount of time it's going to take, pitch decks. So what am I going to do after? And that's even before I get to coding. So like my last project, it was short, but it took me about a week. Three to four days came from like blueprinting, wireframing, and just making a whole scheme of things. And the two days I used to program, which wasn't even that hard, but the programming days were long sprints. That's what I could say, because some of the issues that I thought I would get through easy didn't. Some of the issues that I didn't get through easy couldn't solve. Some of the issues that I think that I could solve were solvable, but it wasn't as like solvable as I thought. So like, to be honest with you, keep building on projects that you want to build because you'll learn from those projects more than any other project that you might think you would that you find online and stuff like that. That's my greatest advice. And I don't think that it's going to make cybersecurity addicting. I just think that it's going to make your passion more like fulfilling, you know, like more fulfilling to wake up and open a computer and sit and look at a terminal for eight hours because, you know, you're going to make something you like at the end of the day. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like, comment, subscribe. And my Twitch will be in the link in the bio below. So thank you.